what's happening uh you know we had a, a good uh <laughs> bible study uh last night uh for you know about 40 some minutes uh, 38 minutes or whatever and uh, we started with uh, this title i said love Esau and rebecca loves jacob and um this is based on the uh, book of Genesis, chapter 25, uh, verse 28. And uh, this is um, a, a, a parable, a vision for what's happening in uh, this uh, year, 2021, because uh, this year we're going to see a lot of prophecy, vision, and dreams uh, for the law of people. And uh, last time, last week, uh, you know, seven days ago, uh, we have uh, this title, See and Appear. And um, so turn out the word see and appear is the same in, uh, in, the, in the book of Moses, in the book of Moses. And then today, uh, last night, we already covered the, time, the part on the come and go. Come and go is the same word. And uh, this is based on the uh, Torah portion that, um, you know, uh, most of the um, uh, Jewish uh, people, you know, uh, is the portion that they're going to read today in the afternoon. Um, you know, started with Genesis, uh, Exodus uh, chapter 10, verse 1. So uh, we're not going to cover the, the part that we have discussed already. Um, last night, <laughs> and uh, there was some interruption. I don't know if it's because of Zoom or Microsoft or whoever behind, uh, but uh, we're going to continue because uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, we're going to look up on, unto him and then share, you know, what uh, his um, God's word will reveal. Now, um, so last night uh, we have uh, covered this, and then uh, we also talk about well, the, the fact of matter is the last church, you know, uh, of the seven churches. You know, the last church is Laodiceans, and um, it said, "As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten." So, yeah, you know, they are they are. There are, you know, some rebuke and chastening on the last day church. Well, what's that mean? What's that mean? And then uh, we talk about that uh, last night. And then so uh, we're going to talk some more, talk some more about that. And um, that has everything to do with what's happening to today in this world, this uh, last years. And uh, what happened is, you know, if you look at the world populations, the world populations. Um, this is based on uh, one of the, um, you know, authority on the world, <laughs> um, you know, all the data is, um, you know, there are 60% of population of Asian. And there are 17% of um, population in Africa. And then uh, Europe is about 10%. And uh, the North and South America is about, you know, 14, 15%, so forth, you know. So uh, those are the, you know, the major. And, you know, as you know, in the, the Bible, according to, uh, you know, the New Testaments, uh, Paul have kind of divided, you know, the, the world, you know, from the point of view of the God's word, God's word, and this is uh, First Corinthians chapter ten thirty two, chapter ten thirty two. And I read: uh, Give none offense, neither to the Jew nor to the Gentiles nor to the Church of God. So, you know, in the um, in the uh, books of uh, uh, Paul, uh, you know, he kind of divided, you know, the um, you know, in this um, um, you know last two thousand years, you know, they are free, basically free. Um, groups of people that uh, the you know the word of god um, you know look at and uh, you know kind of divided you know it is the uh, the jews and it is the gentiles meaning the world 
and also the last group is the Church of God. Um, so you know these these are the three 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 groups of people. Now you know a lot of people misunderstand you know that well even though God is the God of Israel, but you know the God is does not care only about the Jews. You know he care really about the whole world. You know because the Lord Jesus come to save the world, not just you know the Jews. You know because the world right now is about eight billion people, and so you know the the Lord Jesus is not like you know he only try to bless the church or the Jews. You know because you know that is the Gentile the world. You know because the Lord Lord Jesus told uh, Nicodemus. For God so loved the world, you know, that He gave His only begotten Son. So you know, the Lord Jesus is for the whole world, for the whole world. Uh, so basically, uh, what that means is, you know, the um, uh, the way from uh, from God the Father uh, look at the you know the whole world is, uh, you know, He deal with uh, all three group of people. Okay, so as we uh, already talked about in uh, in uh, you know the letter to the Laodicean church, the last day church, you know our our, our church um, of this uh, modern modern days, the the last you know the last day, and um, so you know the Lord Jesus want to you know save many, and uh, obviously you know the church and the Jews uh, are not. Giving as much uh, to to the issue of the Gentiles, the world. So you know that that is what I'm seeing right now. What I'm seeing right now, and uh, I want to show this. Yeah. So you know, uh, so it's mentioned here that you know he want to tell the church. Particular, the leaders, the angel, the angel, the leaders of the church, that you know they are not, uh, you know, by themselves doing a good job because uh, they are not looking to Jesus; they are more lo looking at their own works. And so, you know, there's mention about this: as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten; therefore, be zealous and repent. Well, what's that mean? Well, what it means is, um, uh, as you know. Uh, going back to the, um, what's happening, uh, you know, especially about the COVID, uh, what we're seeing is, yeah, you know, um, this, um, this, there's an issue, you know, about, well, you know, how come 59% uh, um, of the Asian, you know, particularly the East Asian, um, apparently, they have only 20 some percent of uh, infections. And, um, and Africa is uh, even more striking. Africa, Africa is 17% of the populations, but you know, only 3.4% of infections of total of the world. So what's that mean? Well, what it means is all the religious countries, all the religious country, it turned out have the uh, higher, uh, un, unseasonably high infection rate and also the uh, death rate, you know, in, uh, you know, as to the uh, COVID, you know, so it seems like, you know, there's something, you know, there's a message and uh, it's not just physical, but also spiritual. Um, now, you know, uh, people that believe in Jesus Christ, uh, even if they left early, uh, they they go to heavens, you know. So I'm not saying they they are not loved by God because uh, you know we already saw in chapter three, you know, as many as he loved. That's what Jesus said himself, as many as he loves, you know, he would rebuke and chasten. So that means you know there there are consequence, you know, when they are not measuring up. But you know, actually, Jesus uh, want to give out the grace, you know, want to. You know, because he have died for the whole world. So, so you know, you can see, you know, those religious country, not just the other religions, but also the. Um, I hate to say that, but you know, it's it's. Um, I, I found out that uh, to be true. You know, this last few years, 
that the Catholic and Protestants, uh, many of them, uh, a lot of them believe in Jesus Christ as the Savior, and they will go to heaven because that's what they believe. But uh, they they don't they do not do not receive the the full blessing because uh, their 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 life is limited by their faith. You know, according to your faith, you know you are blessed according to your faith. And so, if they don't believe in Jesus for healing. And um, you know the, the Lord would not force a healing on the person. You know, so you know I, I and I still believe all seven churches are are, are safe uh, because uh, they are mentioned. You know, to be to be His people, uh, even though none of them are perfect. You know, uh, of different time and uh, different chronology, um, but all seven churches are safe. But you know, if um, if their belief is only in uh, next life for eternal life, which is already quite good, uh, well, in fact, it's, <laughs> it's the most important things, and uh, they all go to heaven. But you know, if they don't, they refuse. Uh, if their religious leaders refuse to believe in uh, healing signs and healings and miracles, they believe in uh, they only in. Um, salvation by faith only yeah that is what they get you know jesus the law did not uh force it on pharaoh uh you know it's it is the heart that is harder so you know um that whatever they they um they believe you know that would be the same thing for, for even the believers um so um uh, having said that, um, so uh, we go on. Now, so the uh, the um, the grace and the mercy of the law uh, said this: Behold, I stand at the door and lock. If anyone, anyone, if anyone, you know that include the world people. Hear my voice and open the door. I will come into him and dine with him, and he with me. To him who overcome, I will grant to sit with me on my throne, as I also overcame and sat down with my father on, the, on his throne. And he who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said to the church. Now, <laughs> very interesting, because because what that means is Lord Jesus want to be. A personal God and personal friend with anyone, anyone, anyone that open the door, open their heart door, and believe, and uh, he will come in and uh, and then to have supper with him. You know, where it's very interesting because I found out in King James, you know, there's only two mention of this word sub in the New Testament, sub in the New Testament. I'm I'm going to show it to you. So, so this is, uh, you know, uh, in Luke 17 and then Revelation 3. And Luke 17 uh, have to do with, and will not rather say unto him, make, um, it's about the unworthy servants. And the, the, the uh, you know, what happened uh, that led to this uh, parable is, you know, the apostle will ask the Lord, you know, increase our faith. And the Lord explained that if you have a little faith, just like a mustard seed, then, you know, the miracle will obey you. The miracle. In other words, the faith, you know, will, will you know, lead to the, you know, signs and miracle, and it will obey you. And then he just turned around, and then he used the but. And then he talked about the unworthy servants. So it turned out, you know, at that time, the apostle, all the apostles, uh, because uh, they, even though they are 
already apostle, you know, by by the scripture. They, um, um, you know, because they are under the Ten Commandments, they don't have faith. Yeah, they are looking to Jesus, but you know, their 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 heart is you know full of Ten Commandments, full of judgment, full of you know condemnations. So because of that, they are they are still like servant, like Moses. They are, you know, in the old Old Testament time, you know, they are servants. You know, if if Moses is a servant, then you know none of the people that are under the LAW, under the Ten Commandments, are sons and daughters. Only because when now in New Testament you believe in Jesus Christ, uh, and then the law has already uh, went on to the cross, and died and buried and then risen for us. Then we, we become sons and daughters of God. So at that time, all the people, even the um, apostles, you know, because uh, they are still under the Ten Commandments, because Jesus did not go to uh, go to the cross and pay for the sin offering yet. So they don't have faith, and they are still servants. And then so you know they have no right to sup with. They have no right. Because uh, as a servant, you you have to serve. You 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 cannot uh, you know sit down with the master. You cannot sit down with Jesus. <laughs> well, at that time, you know they they did have, um, <laughs> you know uh, uh, they they did uh, have uh, have a good uh, time uh, with Jesus uh, three and a half years. But but in in their heart, in their in their in their you know um, they have not received the Holy Spirit and. You know they they are servants, you know, and and their mind is like serving the Lord. You know, the more like serving the Lord rather than sit down with the Lord Jesus, that sons and daughters of Lord of God. You know. So anyway, so uh, this is the only other time that you know the King James used sub, <laughs> sub. You know, but this one no good because uh, you you cannot sit down with the Lord. But you know after the um, the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross in the new covenant in Revelation chapter 3 you know you know you are already in the new new covenant time because Jesus already saved Jesus already paid and Jesus already blessed but you know um, a lot of people still try to <laughs> turn away Jesus you know even in churches you know, they, they are they are more focused about themselves. They are, they are preaching about themselves and the world and, uh, and, and about the Jew. They are not looking to Jesus. <laughs> so, you know, uh, that's, that's why, you know, they did not receive, you know, the blessing and healing and signs. Now, so we already covered last night and uh, come and go is the same word now. This is um, very strange, you know, so I want to talk about, you know, one of the big issue of the, um, because uh, right now is the pandemic and uh, the, you know, obviously the law had promised and, uh, you know, in, even in Exodus chapter 15, verse 26, uh, and, and said, if thou will diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God and will do that which is right in his sight and will give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes, I will put none of this disease, none of this disease upon thee, which I have brought upon the Egyptian, for I am the Lord that healed thee. Well, you know, I mean, <laughs> uh, we, we covered this verse uh, previously, you know, in um, last last week or so. Um, but, um, you know, this is a great promise because uh, for I am the Lord that healed thee, you know, so healing is from the Lord. Yeah, you know, the law um, don't mind that uh, we go to a hospital or see uh, doctors, get medicines, uh, because the law wants us to be healed uh, in every way, naturally or supernaturally. You know, he, he really doesn't mind because, uh, you know, those, those uh, diseases, you know, are, are from the old, uh, from the curse of the, uh, on the world. You know, because uh, in the Old Covenant, in the Ten Commandments, you know, that is curse, not just blessing, curse too. If you do, do not um, make it, 
In fact, you know, it uh, mentioned here, keep all his statues, keep all his statues. So in the Old Testament time, in the in the ancient times, you know, well, you know, uh, uh, the Lord Jesus did not come yet, of course. And uh, so um, even at that time, you know, there is mentioned, I am the Lord that healed thee. Now, the only problem is, you know, there is all kind of requirement. You know, you have to listen to his voice and then do that which is right and uh, will obey his commandments and keep all his statue. Wow. You know, none of us could do that. Not even those days. You know, in fact, I, I know of none. You know, in Old Testament time and New Testament time, you know, who, who could uh, have done all that, you know? But basically, you know, he has to be a really holy, holy, holy saints, but there's none. You know, in our flesh, uh, dwell no good things. So does it mean that uh, there's no healing? Yeah, under the Old Testament time, yes. You know, uh, because no one uh, could could uh, fulfill this, uh, uh, all these things. And then it turned out, <laughs> it turned out, you know, we have found that um, from the Lord, from the Holy Spirit. This is Exodus 15, 26. Um, I'm going to uh, say that, repeat it again, you know, because I, I think a lot of people would get blessed from it. Um, not just a few. So we go to Exodus 15 and then 26. Now, this is the, the words uh, you know, we just read and said, if thou will diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and then, uh, and we will do that which is right in his eyes, you know, well, you know, if we do that, then uh, we have the right righteousness, uh, the right to uh, stand before him, and we'll give ye to his commandments, listen to that, and then keep all his statue, which is <laughs> impossible, you know, naturally, but um, that is the requirement, and I, I will put none of this disease upon thee. That is a great promise. You know, requirement, the demand is high, but the promise is great. I will put none of this disease upon thee, which I have brought upon the Egyptian. Yeah, the reason why the world have pandemic, yeah. For I am the Lord that healed thee. Now, the, the, the reason uh, we said the Holy Spirit had opened um, at least to feel that, uh, um, you know, watch this uh, video, uh, the Lord bless you and healing be on you and blessing on your family. And it's because in the original language of the Hebrew, um, this, this words, you know, do not have those commas. Those commas are added on by the translators for the English Bible, for the Latin Bible, for the Chinese Bible, for the German Bible. Th those are added on. Uh, it's not wrong because, uh, you know, they, they were originally written for the old covenant people, for the old, you know, for the people of that time. But uh, if you look carefully, I'm going to show it to you. Um, 1526 now, you know, because the Hebrew is with, uh, uh, like Chinese, you know, in, uh, as an ancient language uh, from right to left. So uh, if you look carefully, you will find that there's no comma, you know, no punctuation, except, you know, at the end of the words. At the end of the words, uh, they have this. Uh, but before that, there's none. Okay, because uh, they have all these... Uh, strong uh, annotation, so I'm going to remove them and then I'll show you the original Hebrew. See that? There's no comma, no comma, no comma. Yeah, there's space between words, space, but no comma. Okay? <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. And so what's that mean? Well, okay, you know, so for the old covenant, you know, um, it, it basically said that, well, you have to obey, you have to Obey, obey, obey. <laughs> Listen and obey. <laughs> there's no other way. You know, that's the Old Testament. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. But actually, there's no comma there. Well, so what's the difference? Well, what's the difference is 
if you understand the New Testament, you understand the New Covenant, because now Jesus has done all the finished work to fulfill all the law, all the Ten Commandments, all the requirements of the LAW, then, uh, you know, the reading is different. Well, what do you mean? Well, you know, if I don't have this comma here, see that? If I don't have the comma here, are you guys looking at it? <laughs> I just want to be sure. If you don't have the comma here, uh, or maybe if you have a, a, a the comma put from here to here, then the story is different. It's the new covenant. Well, what do you mean? Well, you know, Exodus 15, 26, for the new covenant would be this. If thou will diligently hearken, diligently hearken, uh, we'll talk about that later. Diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord, Lord, the Lord Jesus. We listen to, like right now you're watching the video, um, you diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord, hearing, hearing. Then thy God will do that which is right in his sight and will give ear to his commandment and keep all his statutes. So in other words, if you diligently hearken to the voice of the law, well, come on, thy God. Actually, you know, it's the same God. But, you know, to us, it's the law. To the people of the world, it's the, the action is of God. You know, the action, what, what's the action? Well, thy God, thy God the Father. Uh, and will do that which is right in his eyes, in his eyes. Well, he, he will perform. He will do all that is required. And it will give ear to his commandment. So he will do the obedience to his commandment. What do you mean? Yeah, Jesus did. Jesus went on to the cross to finish, to keep all the statue for us. <laughs> you know, so in our words, in the new covenant, the law himself will do all that is required in order to give you the righteousness. And then he will do his, his obedience to fulfill all the commandments. And in which case, there will be no disease upon us. In fact, he will heal us. <laughs> So this will come true if you understand that. And it's not by our you know, performance, by our obedience. It's not by our, you know, uh, try, trying very hard, try our best, because uh, none of us could. So, you know, this is what is promised in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. So there are many, many chapter and words um, like that, you know, in uh, the book of Moses, many of them. And, um, and then there's the, this the other one too. Surely he has borne our grief. This is Isaiah chapter 53. He has borne our grief and carry our sorrows. Yet we esteem him stricken, smite, smitten by God and affected. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisements for our peace was upon him. And by his strife, we are healed. Uh, so, um, you know, this is the other one. Um, it turned out, you know, a lot of uh, Jewish believers, uh, previous time, you know, um, you know, when they were growing up, you know, they uh, were not able to read this because um, in their Torah portions, you know, someone um, uh, make sure that, you know, some of those passages that point to Jesus were, were not shown. So as a result, you know, uh, a lot of Jewish uh, uh, Christians, new one, that uh, they come to a conclusion, oh, somebody is hiding the uh, portion about Jesus. Like this one, Isaiah 53. And then it turned out, you know, to church, <laughs> for some reasons, you know, have taken it wrong too, because uh, they translate it. 
are they translated for whatever reasons? Uh, you know, he, he said he has borne our griefs and sorrows. Now, those are blessings too. But, you know, it seems like, you know, the translator uh, tried to hide something. Uh, it's really, you know, maybe not the intention of the translator, but uh, because of their limited faith. So uh, they tone down, you know. So all this King James uh, Committee and all that, you know, they tone it down and they call it grief. Grief is, you know, it's a nice word, you know, but uh, so he, he born our grief, he born our sorrows, he covered a, a lot of grounds, but actually it turned out, you know, this grief is the word disease in Hebrew, the word disease. I show it to you. Yeah, so it turned out, you know, they uh, they skipped this uh, portion about the uh, chapter 53, which uh, to a lot of Jews, you know, if they read that and then uh, they are sincere about, uh, you know, and then understand the reading, then uh, they would have come to the conclusion Jesus is this Messiah. But they turn out, you know, uh, uh, they, you know, the, uh, the rule of the world somehow influence the, um, you know, the uh, translators and also influence the scribes. So uh, they skip it and they um, mistranslate it, you know, for whatever reason, you know, tone down the meaning. Now, so, you know, uh, yeah, they, they use grief, grief, you know, most time. But, you know, some uh, more uh, new, uh, newer translation uh, would show the original meaning disease. Now I'm going to show it to you, uh, the interlinear, and uh, you will see. Uh, this is uh, chapter 53, um, with grief, you know, the translate, he is despised and rejected by man, a man of sorrow and acquainted with grief. You know, he born out grief. Now, if you look at the uh, concordance, uh, twenty four eighty three, you would see that you know actually it's said disease. In other words, you know all over the place, you know twenty four eighty three is talking about disease. Actually, there's only one time with reference as grief or grief. Uh, all the other time is fourteen time. Uh, many times is the sickness, illness, affliction, disease. <laughs> so, so that's why the you know even the Jews now they the modern um, uh, you know they uh, Jews uh, they would call the calling as the disease. You know if they go to hospital uh, to to treat the, a certain sickness, they would use this you know this uh, word disease. But you know in the in the English Bible and then even the Chinese Bible and all the translator. You know, somehow tone it down because um, you know seems like you know <laughs> a lot of time you know the uh, uh, you know church authority um, they tone it down because uh, they don't have that faith or they they uh, they lack faith or they have small faith <laughs> because uh, they are like servants they are not uh, thinking like sons and daughters of God. But now, you know, it has to be reviewed because this is the last days. So anyway, thank you, Lord Jesus. You know, so what's that mean? Well, what that means is, you know, if Jesus is our Lord and our God, then he's not just saving us for next eternal life. He is, you know, blessing us now as much as you believe according to your faith. You, you, you are blessed according to your faith. You know, and, um, you know, so he would be with you every day, blessing you and your house and uh, blessing you and healing you and provide for you. You know, this is all, all, all true. Uh, but, you know, because uh, a lot of church leaders lead uh, the wrong way, you know, they, if they don't repent, 
um, you know, they will be rebuked and, um, you know, uh, but they still go to heavens, you know, just like Lot, you know, like Lot, the nephew of Abraham, uh, he, um, he was uh, deemed a righteous man by Peter in Second Peter. And uh, he was deemed uh, righteous. That means uh, he go to heaven. But, you know, he could not, uh, you know, save, uh, uh, help save uh, his family. You know, his family got kind of lost. Yeah, so sad, you know. But Abraham, Abraham blessed, you know, and prayed for even the people of Sodom. Abraham prayed for them, and uh, including Lot. <laughs> so Abraham prayed for his nephew too. <laughs> but, you know, yeah. So, um, you know, um, and then also the, all the neighbors on Abraham, you know, even though Abraham uh, lived in um, a neighborhood that is not not that uh, godly, you know, they are, they are, there's a lot, you know, uh, you know, they are, um, you know, uh, children, uh, um, you know, that, you know, have uh, other beliefs, they don't believe in God, they don't, they don't believe in the Lord. And, uh, but they, they are all safe. Well, you know, at least uh, they didn't die, you know, during Abraham's time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, uh, see what happened is, uh, you know, why now? Uh, I'm going to read that anyway. Uh, John uh, chapter eight, uh, verse twelve to nineteen. Uh, then Jesus spoke to them again, saying, "I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life." The Pharisee therefore said to him, "You bear witness of yourself; your witness is not true." But Jesus answered and said to them. Even if I bear witness of myself, my witness is true, for I know where I'm came from and where I'm going. See, you know, Jesus, no. And then Jesus declared, declare, you know, openly, you know, he, for I know where I came from and where I'm going. You know, yeah, you know, in the, in the spiritual world, you know, he came from the spiritual world. He came from heavens. And then uh, he, he's going back to heavens. And then now he's sitting on the right hand of the Father. Yeah. But you do not know where I come from and where I'm going. Yeah. You know, those people uh, that rejected Jesus, uh, you know, the old covenant people, you know, uh, some of them are church and some of them are Jewish. And, uh, uh, you know, if, uh, if they, they, you know, do not really understand uh, you know, then um, they kind of miss out because, you know, uh, like verse 19, it said, then they said to him, where's your father? And Jesus answered, you know, neither me nor my father. If you have known me, you would have known my father also. So, you know, you can see, you know, um, in the Old Testament time, you know, they don't know the Lord's name and they even don't even now, you know, they, they don't dare to mention Lord's name. You know, they are, they are afraid. They are, you know, they say that they believe in the God of the Bible, Old Testament Bible, but, you know, they are afraid to use that name. They don't know his name. They don't want to mention his name. They are afraid of that name. Um, because what happened is uh, in, uh, in uh, John chapter 14, you know, uh, when Jesus said that I'm the way, the truth, and the light. Um, and then he also said, you know, those people that see him or know him will know, also know the Father. Because when you see him, and then you're looking at the Father also. <laughs> so everything, everything is by Jesus. Jesus is the gateway to heaven. Jesus is the door. <laughs> Yeah, thank you, Jesus. And, and you know, this is the other thing, you know, which also said, ye men of Galilee, this is in Acts chapter 1, uh, verse 11. Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, so, so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. So come and go is the same word. 
<laughs> now going back, you know, our, my, our title today is, um, you know, in closing is Isaac love Esau, Rebecca love Jacob. So that's what's happening this year. What's happening is uh, you see, um, Actually, I'm going to read, read that uh, passage um, uh, for you. Genesis chapter 25. Verse 28, I'm going to read that. And I say, love Esau because he did eat of his, his venison, but Rebecca loved Jacob, yes. Uh, that is our title. But, you know, uh, does it have any meaning? Well, yes, yes, you know, very deep meaning. And uh, it's about us uh, uh, today. And uh, and Jacob sought pottage, and Esau came from the field, and he was faint. And Esau said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee, with the same uh, red pottage, for I am faint. Therefore was his name called Edom. <laughs> so uh, there... Uh, mention of these uh, three persons. Um, I said, Rebecca and uh, J e well, four persons, yeah, e Esau and Jacob. Now, uh, I said, is the son of Abraham. Well, so naturally, you know, uh, I said, is also the seed of Abraham, son and seed, you know. But, you know, the seed of Abraham in uh, New Testament have a um, you know, all kind of meaning because this is singular seed, right? And this seed of Abraham uh, have to do with, you know, um, Jesus. Jesus is the seed of Abraham. Okay. So in other words, Isaac is like a picture of Jesus. And of course, you know, we also learn from uh, Paul that uh, we, because uh, we, we are by faith, just like Abraham by faith, uh, become righteous by faith. So uh, we are also seed of Abraham. We all are. You, believers, and me, the believer, the church, is a seed of Abraham. But anyway, going back, you know, so I said is a picture of Jesus. Now, uh, so, you know, in, uh, in uh, uh, Jesus' time, you know, when he said, you know, Jesus said to Nicodemus, which is the leader of the um, you know, all the Jewish people. And then he said, you know, for God so loved the world. So actually I said, love Esau. Why do you say that? Well, Esau is the world. I'm no kidding. Really? You know, yeah. Because um, you see, you know, uh, over here, uh, there's a mention about Esau is also his name called Edom. So Esau is also called Edom. That's why the the descendant, the the the, the race um, of uh, Esau, become the Edomite. <laughs> the Edomite. <laughs> so so Edom is also a name for Esau. Well, what that means? Well, the what it means is, uh huh. Edom means wet because uh, he was eating, uh, you know, he, he wanted to eat the red por porridge. You know, he's all red. <laughs> so, so Edom, <laughs> that's what it did. It's, uh, yeah, equal to red, according to this um, uh, brown driver bricks. Edom means red. So, you know, his uh, children, it's called, um, his uh, descendant is called Edom. And they live in a, a place called, um, you know, in the, in the Petra. You know, those rocks over there is all red. <laughs> so, so, you know, the, our God is so, um, so uh, you know, so special. You know, he, he makes sure that uh, we have a picture, picture that's color. <laughs> so anyway, so, and and then you know the funny thing is this. The funny thing is, uh, this is one, two, three. This is one, two, three. I mean the uh, strong concordance. 
uh, the, 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 the number is one, two, three. And then it turned out uh, it is the same spelling like, you know, Adam. Yeah, in other words, Edom, Edom, Adam is red, red blooded man. <laughs> in fact, uh, the, the word uh, for blood is them, DM <laughs> in, in the English, um, you know, representation is DM, is the blood. So Edom, Adam, uh, wait a second, what's, what's happening? <laughs> Edom, Adam is is the same spelling, you know. Well, you know, even though they are uh, they are. Uh, uh, so if you look at uh, 122 or 121, see Adam. Adam is also red. <laughs> so, so so see that the first man, right? But it's also red because uh, you know because a uh, man man is red blooded. Man is aware about it. So, you know, it's uh, really wonderful. Thank you, Jesus. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So, I say love the world because Esau represents the world. The web of the man, the Adam, the first Adam. And then, so I say, if he, he is a picture of Jesus, then Rebecca is the church. Rebecca is the church. Yeah, Rebecca loved Jacob, but Isaac loved Esau. Yeah, because God really loved the world. He wanted to save the world, not just um, uh, you know, uh, you know, the people in the church, not just people in uh, in uh, in the children of Israel. Now, if you think about that, why not um, today? The um, total population in the world is like eight billion people, about eight billion people. Um, you know, God, the Lord Jesus, died for all of them. Want to save many, eight billion people. Maybe not all, but you know, many. Uh, it's not just uh, he, even though he's called God of Israel, but he, you know, he, you know, he's not just there or here and there to save the twenty million. Yeah, right now, you know, the Jewish population is 20 million. He loved the Jews too, because uh, his, one of his titles is King of the Jew, the Lion of Judah. But he wanted to save the world. So that's why Isaac loved Esau. <laughs> he wanted to save the world, you know, not just 20 million. Uh, but, you know, however, you know, the, the you know, it's uh, like uh, many, many in the family. Like the church, you know, the Rebecca, you know, the wife of um, Jesus, you know, the church. Love Jacob. Yeah, because uh, the church is, um, you know, they, they, you know, they all have their own preference. Their preference is uh, they, they like, woo, you know, uh, it's like uh, in families, you know, sometimes, you know, there are some, you know, um, they, they love a certain way, you know, or certain one in and uh, they, they have uh, their bias and so forth. So, yeah, the, like, like, you know, nowadays, you know, you notice, you know, a lot of time, you know, the church say, oh, yeah, we want uh, to love the, the children of Israel. The, 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 they are also God's people. Yes, Jesus loved them too. Jesus wanted to save them too. Uh, but they, they have all have to turn to Jesus. Um, it's not by the righteousness of religion. It is by the righteousness of God. Uh, but anyway, to, to make it short, you know, and uh, you will notice that uh, there's no uh, recounting of when Rebecca died. But uh, by the time Rebecca um, died, I suppose, uh, Jacob uh, uh, came home to Isaac. And there's no mention about Rebecca's death. You know, it is like as if you know the church will be rapture. You know, rapture. Uh, when when Jacob come home to Jesus, so 
Uh, that's another <laughs> prophecy, uh, just another blessing for you. Thank you, Jesus. So, you know, one of the biggest things uh, deal, we have to deal with because, um, you know, we all want healing, you know, and I noticed that um, in uh, many passage in the um, Old Covenant, particularly in the uh, uh, Book of Moses, uh, there's mention of grain and wine and oil, the grain, the wine and oil. And then now we already know from uh, certain uh, anointed preachings uh, from uh, Singapore, from uh, Taiwan, from uh, on YouTube also, you know, from uh, different, um, you know, but, uh, you know, only a few right now. And uh, that is uh, talking about the grain, the wine and the oil is for blessing because the grain, the wine and the oil is really about Jesus. Yeah, if you look at, uh, for example, this portion here, uh, it is the same way. Then it shall come to pass because you listen to these judgments and keep and do them. Then the law of God will keep you, uh, keep with you the covenant and the mercy which he swore to his, to your father. And he will love you and bless you, multiply you. And and then, and then you know, he, he would bless you with the grain, the wine and the oil. And then after that, he shall, you shall be blessed above all people. Come on. Does it happen in the Old Testament time? Sometimes, you know, because uh, in Old Testament time, in Old Covenant, uh, you do good, then you get good under the Ten Commandments. You do bad, then you get bad. You know, there's judgment, blessing and cursing, blessing and cursing. But, you know, the promise is great. You shall be blessed above all people. But, you know, somehow, somehow, you know, the, the order is you obey all the law, and then, and then the second part is you will get blessed with the grain, the wine, and the oil, along with other material blessing. And and then boom, you know, verse fourteen, you know, you shall be blessed above all people. Wow, that's nice. And then not only that, on the verse fifteen, and the Lord will take away from you all sickness. <laughs> so, he, uh, prosperity and healing is promised here in this uh, passage. Prosperity and healing. And the blessing is like above all people. Wow, you know, so, so, so the, you know, if you, you get to the conclusion, then uh, the, the, the blessing is good. You know, uh, prosperity and healing. Prosperity and healing, this is God's work. The only problem is the first part. The first part, the requirement is you have to keep and do them. Keep and do them. You know, because you have to keep and do them. Wow, you know, that is the, the hard part. You know. So, you know, I'm going to share with you uh, before closing. That was uh, chapter seven, I think. Uh, Seven, uh, ooh, yeah, okay. The Deuteronomy chapter seven. See that? You know, this is the, the passage, yes. Now, uh, I'm going to tell you the same way. And uh, all these commas are not there. In the in the original Bible, in the original Hebrew Bible, all those come are not there. Okay, uh, I'm going to tell you. So uh, this is how it looked like. Seven twelve, no comma, no comma. All those comma were added on by the translators. Okay, uh, I'm going to show it to you clearly. There's no comma. No period, no comma. See that seven twelve, so far so on. So going back. Now, if you understand this, then in the New Testament, Jesus already keep it. Okay, this is what happened. You know, if those commas are not there, and then so if you put the comma rather here, 
between the law and thy God. Well, so so what's that mean? Well, yeah, you, you still have to hearken, hearken. Yeah, listen to it. To know that, oh, you know, uh, yeah, the requirement is great. Uh, you know, uh, you know, if uh, if you, you you don't behave, you know, you, you get judged. Yeah, but you you basically hearken, hearken, you know, hearken. Not really to do, you know, because you know we all know that you know we could not. And 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 but thy God shall keep unto thee the covenant and the mercy which swear. And 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 so, um, you know, I I I think I'm I'm going to. Try to show it on the. Uh, So he said, he said, you know, and it shall come to pass. Uh, you you listen to the judgment and keep and do, and uh, will keep them, uh, uh, Yahweh, and then your God will, you know. So anyway, so what I'm trying to say is this. Uh, so many, many of the passage, you know, said that um, if uh, you understand, you know, you can, you know, Kind of, you know, put the new con new covenant in uh, because those commons are not there. In, in other words, uh, it's the law of God, you know, fulfilling. And then, and then what happened was, uh, if you have that understanding, and then also, you you also know that you know you you get the blessing of the grain, the wine, and the oil, the grain, the wine, and the oil. You know those things, the grain. And the wine is the called new uh, the communion, and the oil is the anointing oil for sickness and for blessing, and so uh, all three of them were actually uh, all broken. The bread uh, have to be uh, the grain have to be broken to become bread, and the wine have to be chopped down uh, to become uh, fermented wine, and then oil is uh, have to be pressed uh, from olive into oil. You know, all three of them is the picture of Jesus Christ. You know, and then when when you understand this picture, is the communion, and then uh, for for healing uh, of oil, and uh, you know, then you know, all the sickness will be will be done. And then you shall be blessed above all people, <laughs> because you know the Lord. When the Lord is with you, who can be against you? Yeah. So you know. Um, uh, we we don't have time to cover too many things, but uh, yeah. So uh, um, you you can see in uh, Luke uh, chapter twenty four, you know, it also talk about after they receive the uh, the couple, the husband and wife receive the uh, the uh, uh, bread broken for them uh, by Jesus, and their eye will open and they know him. And then later on, you know, in the same chapter, it said how he was known to them in the breaking of bread. So if you want to know Jesus, it is, you know, by the Holy Communion. If you want to know this year, you know, it would be a year of vision and dreams and prophecy. If you want to know about Jesus, 
if you want to know about Jesus, this is the first day of his resurrection. Now is the last days uh, before he come back. So if you want to know about Jesus, you know, in, in um, <laughs> know him, know him, then, um, you know, you, you, you should do the Holy Communion, not just um, uh, uh, on, on, the, on the Sunday, but also uh, at home. Uh, this is another passage. Uh, in uh, chapter X, uh, chapter two, about the, uh, um, you know, uh, after the day of Pentecost, they continually daily with one accord at the temple and breaking of bread from house to house. So in other words, they, they do the communion at home too, daily. And and then, you know, the, the breaking of bread is when along with the talking about the apostles doctrine and the fellowship and the prayers. So all the all the other things are as important as breaking of bread, or the other way. Breaking of bread is as important as the preaching, as uh, the fellowship, as well, you know, and, and in prayer. Because uh, when you're doing breaking of bread, you have uh, fellowship with the Lord Jesus Christ. So, uh, you know, uh, the problem nowadays, the reason why, you know, uh, all those religious countries, including the uh, uh, Christendom, uh, they, they apparently have a lot of people that die and get sick and, uh, and uh, sleep early. And uh, the reason is because they do not discern the Lord's body is for blessing. They, they a lot of, uh, you know, follow the tradition of men to teach that, you know, the communion is, uh, can, uh, you know, when it's taken uh, with sins, then uh, it will, it will uh, become a curse. They, they do not treat the, the lost body as blessing. Okay. <laughs> now, this is uh, the last uh, 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 passage that we're going to read. Uh, we read that last week too. Um, so, uh, but I'm going to read it again. Uh, this is Revelation chapter 6, verse 6. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four living creatures saying, A quart of wheat for a denarius, and the three quarts of barley for a denarius, and do not harm the oil and the wine. When he opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the four living creatures saying, Come and see. So I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and the name of him who sat on it was death and Hades follow with him, and power was given to them over a fall for the earth, to kill with saw, with uh, hunger, with death, and by the beasts of the earth. You know, this word uh, with death you know, also uh, was translated uh, with pandemic, okay? Now, but you know, this is very odd, you know, this is uh, before the fourth series is open, you know, there is uh, a special words talking about the weed, well, in this case, it's the oil and the wine. The wheat, barley, oil, and the wine. Wheat and barley is used for making bread. No, so, you know, this is not just talking about uh, just uh, physical, you know, things. You know, it's not a hint uh, to do a certain, uh, you know, uh, maybe uh, buying something or whatever. It is uh, spiritual things. It is saying, you know, before you know the you know the death and pandemic comes, you should you should uh, you know uh, you know know that this is the remedy, this is the antidote for be people that believe in the Bible, the God's word, the blessing. Well, you know, what does that mean? Well, you know, if you have the bread, the wine, and the oil, just in the like the Book of Moses, just like in. Uh, um, you know, the revelation and in the, in the Acts, uh, you know, the, uh, the uh, Pentecost, you know, the wheat, the wine and the oil is for blessing and for your healing, for your protections, because uh, this is the body of Jesus Christ. By your strife, we are healed. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So um, I, I want to share, and uh, I have said many times, you know, it uh, is very odd, you know, uh, those places uh, where they have uh, people that preach the, the Holy Communion to bless 
They preach of the only the new covenant. They preach of the gospel of grace, hundred percent gospel, hundred percent grace. Those places where only you know they have very few, fewer than other people, uh, of death uh, of this COVID nineteen. So um, you know I'm going to share with you. Like for example, Joseph Prince in Singapore. Um, you know I know a lot of people you know would not accept that, but you know I don't care. You know because uh, th those are the the fact. Um, you know, you you look at the um, uh, this is the uh, wiki, the wiki update, and uh, this update uh, is this way. Uh, it talk about the uh, the COVID death. The COVID death. Um, well, you know, let's talk about the. Uh, yeah, you know, this is per million. So, um, you uh, you know, as I pointed out, you know, the um, uh, the religious country, you know, uh, the or the religious continents, you know, where they have um, a pronouncement of ten commandments, a uh, long time. You know, it seems like they have a, a higher death rate, but you know where the um, Ten Commandments is not commonly preached or known. Um, seems like they have lower death rate. So see, you know, this is a comparison. You know, the Africa is low. Africa is low, um, and um, Asia is low. Yeah, but the all the religious part of the world, you know, they. Um, um, you know, South America, Central America, you know, they have a high death rate. And, um, you know, so, you know, uh, but, you know, of course, you know, if they believe in Jesus Christ, you know, they, uh, you know, they, they, they have eternal life anyway. Uh, but, you know, this is uh, something, um, you know, and then uh, I'm also pointing out, Um, okay, well, you know, uh, this is the country, yeah, the same thing. Um, of course, uh, we know Taiwan is low. Uh, in fact, you know, this one is uh, very odd, you know, like Singapore, see, Singapore is the lowest. It's uh, the only one that have 0 0.00% 0 .00%, uh, based on today. Today is January 21st. So uh, they are very consistently the lowest, you know. Um, and uh, so this case fatality means uh, you know, virtually most of them recover. Every country have uh, infection, every country have infection. But, you know, the, the place where they have the uh, highest re, uh, recovery is Singapore. So, you know, well, I, I mean, and then, you know, also about, you know, those uh, places that are not so religious. Um, so, you know, this is uh, very interesting, you know, so, um, and, uh, but you know the highest, yeah, uh, you know, uh, death rate is uh, where a lot of time you know they have um, either very religious or very you know authoritative, you know, very dictator, you know, uh, so they have higher, 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 you know, higher problem. Um, so um, you know, so uh, most, but most of them are religious country. Yeah, thank you. All right, and uh, so. Uh, yeah, in closings, you know, I and I pray that you know uh, you have a chance to watch uh, some of those uh, blessings, and um, you know, and then believe that uh, the communion, holy communion, which is the you know the lost body, um, is for blessing. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Let's pray, Lord Jesus. I'm just thankful that uh, we have uh, you know this uh, make up uh, Bible study, and um, you know to. Uh, uh, finished the, the, the study we had yesterday. 
but I'm praying for blessing uh, for everyone that attend and uh, that uh, will receive the, um, the the blessing of the Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray for at the sound of my voice that um, everyone that lay a watch and uh, look unto Jesus that uh, they they uh, are blessed, they are healed, they are protected, they are provided for, they have shalom peace, but also their house, their house also blessed and their healing, blessing, protections and uh, provision for them in Jesus name. Amen. Okay, thank you guys. Uh, I'm, I'm glad that uh, we finished in Jesus name. Amen.